that was lecture number one that is introduction to cucumber and selenium web driver in this course on cucumber so in this course you will learn the basic in this course you will learn basics of the cucumber and selenium web driver like what are they and what they are used for uh, so all these basics you will learn in this cucumber uh, and selenium introduction lecture so let us start so both uh, selenium and cucumber are open source and cross-platform bdd testing framework so you can write your tests and execute these tests in windows as well as mac as well as linux so that is the beauty of this particular tools cucumber and selenium then another thing important thing is tests are written in various languages like english french german or any other uh, regional languages in the world using gherkin syntax so normally uh, people uh, need to have the technical knowledge to write the tests for example if somebody is writing the tests in java then he should have understanding of java but to write the tests in bdd or the gherkin syntax you do not need to uh, know what are the variables what are the classes objects etc you can uh, write the tests in a simple uh, human readable languages so that is the one of the most important thing about the bdd and that's why this, that is very pop uh, getting a lot of popularity nowadays then you can uh, write the tests like step definitions uh, in php java groovy.net uh, etc so that is another extra advantage of this particular frameworks cucumber and selenium and you can also integrate your tests with ci servers like jenkins and team city so not only you can run the tests uh, like on individual computer but on the ci servers as well you can also generate the reports in html or json and jnet style from within cucumber and it also integrates very well with the other frameworks like apm spring water ruby on rules etc well so before we start with the cucumber and selenium let me explain you what is manual web application testing so to test the applications uh, generally people software organizations uh, like to do manual testing but that manual testing has got some disadvantages like you have to enter the data manually in the web pages and then can just execute uh, the tests but if the test is very lengthy it takes a lot of time and it's also very costly but with the automation testing tool which is open source and uh, which drives the web, web so to get rid of this uh, disadvantages with manual web application testing automation testing comes into picture in automation testing we use the tools like uft ranorex and uh, test complete selenium etc to execute the test so once you write the tests you can run the tests many times on the same application so that is the plus point uh, for the auto using the automation frameworks and your tests can also run overnight you don't need to be present physically over there while executing the tests and that's the reason why selenium web driver is so popular out of uh, all these tools you have to run test complete selenium is uh, the open source tool that's why it is very popular as i said it is open source cross platform tests can be written in various languages it supports the automation of browsers like internet explorer firefox chrome safari automation on emulated mobile devices and here are some useful links if you want to learn more about that so that ends our lecture number one that is introduction to cucumber and selenium 